Good afternoon everybody. It's December 22nd, 3 p.m. local, and I've been at sea a full 24 hours. I left the port of Calero on the island of Lanzarote at 3 p.m. on the 21st of December. I believe that's the winter solstice. I left at 3 p.m. Uh, even though there was no wind, but I knew that the wind would fill in sometime around 8 o'clock and in fact it did fill in at 8 o'clock. So we motored for the first five hours, which gave me an opportunity to get offshore and get out of uh, a lee shore uh, situation before the wind filled in. And when the wind filled in, it filled in nicely. So we've actually covered 110 miles in the last 24 hours. I'm bound for the, it's called Shelter Bay Marina in Panama. That's 4,100 miles away. And I'm not sure exactly how long that'll take us based on 75 miles a day, if that's what we do, uh, that would be 53 days. I hope to do it a lot faster, but you know, it'll all depend on a number of variables that I can't control. The plan is to head south until the butter melts. At least that's the old adage. So when you leave the Canaries, you head south toward the Cape Verde Islands. They're about 750 to 800 miles south of the Canaries. Of course, I won't be stopping there. I'll just be heading in that direction. And But it, just before you get there, you should begin to feel the northeast trades. And when that happens, you turn west and you head for the uh, Caribbean. Anyway, I was just outside a moment ago and there was a massive pod of dolphins and I managed to capture some of them. I've never seen this many dolphins around Wave Rover at one time. Anyway, enjoy.
morning it's uh, day three and last night it was blowing for six I know that because I was close enough to the Canaries that I could get a weather forecast from the Spanish Coast Guard and they tend to do uh, wind speed by force so I'll have to look up exactly what that means in uh, knots but it was four six it meant that I had two reefs in the main and I also had the jib the new jib reef I've just been up on deck this morning because the uh, weather has mitigated somewhat so I've shook the reef out of the jib and I'll take you up and deck and see what it's like the seas have flattened quite a bit last night they had the seas at uh, four to five meters and now you can see there may be one to two meters Well, it's Christmas Eve. It's my fourth day at sea. And uh, we've covered about 280 nautical miles from the island of Lanzarote where I started, the port of Calero. But this is the first day, this is the first, it started about an hour ago where there is absolutely no wind. We had a small amount of wind for the last 48 hours. We were still able to make about four knots, but right now there is no wind. Take a look at the sails. That's not the way they're supposed to look. And the sea, the sea is relatively calm. Last night, because it was much like today in the sense that there was little, very little cloud, it was quite a thing to see, the stars right down to the horizon. 
which I never really saw when I was in the Atlantic, uh, the North Atlantic crossing, because we always seem to have cloud on the horizon. So the thing about that is, with nothing obstructing the horizon, you get this incredible star show where the stars literally come out of the water. And of course, with no star, uh, with no clouds, the Milky Way was looking fantastic. But the temperature is definitely uh, t-shirt and shorts during the day, but at night it's a light sweater. Tomorrow is Christmas Day. It'll be the first time that I'm at sea on Christmas Day. I wonder what'll happen. So I'd like to make you aware that Wave Rover now has a Patreon page. And you'll find a link to that page in the, in the video description. And once there, you'll find ways that you can support the production of these videos. As well, you might see a colorful P above my left shoulder, and you can click on that. That'll take you to the same page. So until next week's video, I'm wishing you fair winds, and I hope you have a great week.